In this lesson, we're going to focus on subtraction. Let's say we have 48 minus 32, and we want to subtract the two numbers. The first thing we need to do is stack the two numbers. And the way we write it matters. 48 minus 32 should be written this way, because this will give us positive 16. If we were to reverse the order, we would get negative 16. So we shouldn't do that. Therefore, the first number that's written goes on top. The second number goes on the bottom. Now, to subtract it, we start with the first column on the right. 8 minus 2 is 6. And then we move on to the next column on the left. So we start from the right and move to the left. 4 minus 3 is 1. So we get the answer, 16. Now let's work on some harder examples. Try this one. What is 63 minus 28? So let's rewrite the problem. We're going to put the first number on top and the second number on the bottom. Now, if we subtract the two numbers in the first column, 3 minus 8, that's going to give us a negative result. So that's not going to work because we have a large number subtracted by a smaller number. We should get a positive result. What we need to do is borrow a 1 from the next column. So we're going to borrow a 1 from 6. 6 minus 1 is 5. And now the 3 is going to become 13 because we borrowed a 1. And so we're going to push that 1 next to the 3 making it 13. So now we have 13 minus 8, which is 5, and then 5 minus 2, which is 3. So the answer is 35. And you can confirm that with a calculator. 63 minus 28 is 35. Now let's move on to the next example. Let's subtract 146 by 28. Feel free to pause the video and try this problem. So let's rewrite it like this. The first number goes on top and the second number will go on the bottom. Now 6 minus 8 will give us a negative number. So we're going to borrow a 1 from 4. And the 4 is going to become 3. And we're going to put the 1 next to the 6 making 6 or transforming 6 into 16. So now we have 16 minus 8. So that's going to be 8. 3 minus 2. That's 1. And 1 minus nothing or 1 minus 0 is 1. So the answer is 118. Try this one. 132 minus 59. So let's rewrite it. Starting with the first column, we have 2 minus 9, which will give us negative 7. We don't want that. So let's borrow a, a 1 from 3. So 3 minus 1 is 2. And let's put that 1 on a 2 to the right, so the 2 becomes a 12. 12 minus 9, that's 3. Now, 2 minus 5, that's not going to work, so we're going to borrow a 1. This 1 becomes 0, and the 2 now becomes 12. So 12 minus 5 gives us 7. So the answer is 73. And if you want to confirm it, you could simply add these two numbers to see if it will give you the first number. So if we add 59 and 73, we get 9 plus 3, which is 12. Carry over the 1. 1 plus 5 is 6. 6 plus 7 is 13. And it does give us our original number. So that tells us that 73 is indeed the correct answer. Now let's move on to the next example. 435 minus 186. Go ahead and try that. 
So let's rewrite it. Five minus six is a negative number, so we can't do that. We're gonna borrow a one from three. This is gonna become a two. And we're gonna put the one next to the five, making it 15. Now, 15 minus six is nine. Two minus eight will give us a negative number. So we need to borrow a one from four. Four minus one is three. And let's put the one on the two, making it 12. 12 minus eight is four and three minus one is two. So this is gonna be 249. Now this one is gonna be a little different. 506 minus 39. Go ahead and try that one. Six minus nine this is going to give us a negative number, so we need to borrow a 1. But how can you borrow a 1 from 0? Well, that could be a little confusing, because if you take away 1 from 0, you get negative 1. When you encounter a situation like that, don't borrow 1 from 0. Instead, borrow 1 from 50. 50 minus 1 is 49. And we're going to put the 1 on the 6, making it 16. So now we have 16 minus 9. So if you want to break this into columns, see it this way. So 16 minus 9 is 7. And then we have 9 minus 3, which is 6. And then 4 minus nothing is 4. So the final answer is 467. For the next example, let's take 803 and subtract it by 254. So this is similar to the last problem. So three minus four is not gonna work. So we need to borrow a 1. We can't borrow it from 0, but we're going to borrow a 1 from 80. 80 minus 1 is 79. And now we're going to put that 1 on a 3, making it 13. So now we have 13 minus 4, which is 9. 9 minus 5, that's 4. And 7 minus 2 is 5. So the answer is 549. So that's what you can do if this is zero in the middle. Now what if there are two zeros? So let's say we have 6,007 and we want to subtract it by 2,548. What should we do here? Well first, let's begin by lining up the numbers. 7 minus 8 is negative 1, so we need to borrow 0. So instead of borrowing, I mean, we need to borrow 1. Instead of borrowing 1 from 0, we're going to borrow 1 from 600. 600 minus 1 is 599. So we're going to have a 5, 9, and 9 here. And we're going to put the 1 on a 7, making it 17. 17 minus 8 is 9. 9 minus 4 is 5. 9 minus 5 is 4. And then 5 minus 2 is 3. So the answer is 3,459. So that's what you can do if you have two zeros in the middle. If you need to borrow a 1, borrow a 1 from 600, making it 599. Try this one for practice. 5,036 minus 2,458. Six minus eight will give us a negative number, so we need to borrow a one. 
We could borrow a 1 from the 3. It becomes a 2. And notice that this is the same as borrowing a 1 from 503, which becomes 502. The 6 becomes 16. So 16 minus 8, that's going to be 8. Now we can't subtract 2 from 5. So we're going to borrow a 1 from 50. So 50 becomes 49, and the 2 becomes 12. So now we have 12 minus 5, which is 7, 9 minus 4, which is 5, and then 4 minus 2, which will give us 2. So the answer is 2,578. Now for the next problem, we're going to have a number with three zeros. 30,005 minus 14,528. So go ahead and try that problem. So 5 minus 8 will give us negative 3. So we need to borrow a 1. This time we're going to borrow a 1 from 3,000. 3,000 minus 1 is 2,999. Now let's put the 1 on a 5, making it 15. So 15 minus 8 is 7. 9 minus 2, that's going to give us 7. 9 minus 5 is 4. And then 9 minus 4 is 5. And 2 minus 1 is 1. So the answer is going to be 15,000. 477. Now let's try one more problem. In this example, we're going to have two non consecutive zeros in a large number. So 80,603 minus 32,756. So let's go ahead and begin. Three minus six, that's gonna give us a negative number. So we need to borrow a one. We can't do it with zero, so we're gonna borrow it from 60. 60 minus one is 59. And let's put that one on a three, making it 13. 13 minus six will give us seven. Nine minus five is equal to four. Now five minus seven we can't do. That will be negative two, so we need to borrow a 1 from 80, so we're going to change it to 79. And that's going to make the 5 15. So 15 minus 7 is 8. 9 minus 2 is 7. And 7 minus 3 is 4. So the answer is going to be 47,847. So that's how you could subtract two large numbers that contain a lot of zeros in the first number.